it's Dominic, uh, Big Wheel Reptiles, and uh, doing one more video. Just uh, got the babies out from this morning's litter, and it's looks like 19 babies. It was one slug, and it was one mess of like internal organs. So it was like a slug starting to develop, and uh, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, it was kind of, I thought it was a bigger litter. I thought there was a few more in there. You know, for as big of a female, it's a second litter. But it's definitely more. I think her first litter was 13. So 19. Uh, it's a good litter. And uh, some of them are still breaking out of their masses. And I could definitely see some nice looking jungles. More low expression, but really nice colors. Uh, we got three albinos. And uh, I got to look at them better to see if there's any. Uh, get back in there, you. Uh, any jungle albinos. One of them are one of them looks like it's a it's a jungle albino. One definitely looks like it's a normal albino. But you know, so we'll leave them be. But I'm really happy. This is my third year and uh producing boas and uh the feeling is incredible having a, a live uh litter of babies. It's different with the with live bearing than it is with eggs and I think anybody that uh you know, breeders out there uh, will agree. It's just something very special about boa letters being born. and Real, real happy with this. And like I said, this is a cold project. And there's my cat, Brooklyn. A little Brooklyn. Where is she? You won't see my hair really like. A cold project with family serpents with Chris and Michelle. They uh, provided the mail, which was a set of jungle head albino. And uh, I know they're happy uh, to know that their male is a proven breeder and also proved out to be... Uh, a head albino, 100% hat. So yeah, here we go. Hey, come say hello. I can get in there. All right, I'm gonna actually split these up. There's 19. I'm not gonna leave them all in this box. Put about half of them in another one and let them be. Let them do their thing. And uh, we'll keep these updated on this litter. How they're doing when they start shedding, and obviously when they start eating, and then uh, who will, uh, will be available for sale. There's some beautiful, beautiful snakes in this bunch. We have some really, really nice lookers. All right. Thank you again. Bye-bye.